Sculptor Alan Beatty Herriot was the man who made the Dennis Law and Ken Buchanan statues, but his latest work has been making the hilt for the sword that was presented to King Charles today. We at one point went up to Iona to actually uh, find the, the, the stone for the pommel. Um, and the difficulty really uh, in any sword, I suppose, is actually putting it all together when you put the blade and the tang through the hilt and then the pommel stone on the top. It's all got to be bolted together, basically, and that was quite a problem. Um, but we overcame it eventually. Alan had to alter the hilt several times to get all the pieces of the sword to fit, but it was finally completed, and several craftsmen have had the honour of putting it together for the special occasion. We might just end up a footnote in history, but the fact is that we, our names will be down there. Who made that and who made that, you know? So it's, it's, a, it's a great honour. It, it, there's no question about that. And for me as well, uh, it's, it's, I'm delighted that we've been able to bring Mark Dennis's design uh, and, and make it a reality. I presume King Charles has seen the sword. Oh yes. And what's his, been his thoughts on it? Um, I, I think he's, he was very impressed with the craftsmanship. I think also when he left, he, he, he simply said that he thought his, his mother, late, late Queen, would have been very happy with it. And it was a really nice tribute to her. David Donaldson. That's TV, Edinburgh.